Answering questions can be hard. Is your daddy a fireman? He's probably big. Is he a wrestler? Is he a basketball coach? No, 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 no. What's the matter? Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> but there's no such thing as a dumb question. At least that's how the saying goes. Joe doesn't get that. Why did the Ukraine the FBI informant file refer you to the FBI? Why is that term so much? Why did I ask such a dumb question? Mm, it's actually a great question. It's a question every single reporter should be asking. Because before we even knew Joe Biden was the big guy, before we even had the laptop, a Ukrainian businessman told an FBI informant that he bribed the big guy five million bucks. He used the phrase the big guy when Joe was VP years before the nickname went public. And tonight we're learning the big guy was throwing his weight around. This alleged five million dollar bribe wasn't so much of a bribe. It was more of a shakedown by the big guy, Joe Biden. He was shaking down the Ukrainian. The Federalist is reporting that Biden coerced the Ukrainian to pay the bribe. The big guy was strong arming a Ukrainian energy company to wire him cash. The Ukrainian told the FBI informant he hid the payments, never directly paid Joe, just hid it in a maze of shell companies and said it would take at least 10 years to follow the money back to Biden. Well, it's been about 10 years. The new question is this, is Joe Biden still making good on the bribe? We know he fired the prosecutor, but the FBI document said the bribe was more like a retainer agreement, you know, $5 million for Joe Biden's future services, which is interesting because Joe Biden continues to serve Ukraine. Vice President Joe Biden was allegedly paid five mil by Ukraine, and now President Biden is sending $75 billion to Ukraine. And no one has any idea where the money is. No one's been accounting for it. How's that for a return on your investment? It's almost like Joe Biden is on the hook for Ukraine funding. He doesn't care because it's not his money, it's your money. Now, what's making Ukraine nervous is the next election because the 2016 election made Ukraine really nervous. Ukraine got so nervous after Trump was elected in 2016, they were worried Trump was gonna find out about the Biden payoff. That's why they had the insurance policy. The Ukrainians told the FBI informant that they had tapes of Joe Biden talking business and tapes of Hunter, 17 tapes total. Does the FBI have the tapes? Does the CIA have the tapes? And is someone about to wind up dead? These alleged tapes of Joe Biden cutting corrupt deals with Ukraine could be the key to the next election. And whoever has these tapes, physically has the tapes, holds all the power. This would explain our theory that the FBI has been blackmailing Joe Biden. It also explains why Joe Biden must be protected and reelected in order to keep the tapes quiet and the money flowing. Remember, politics is all about money, who has it and where they're spending it. So isn't it interesting that this bribe document and the alleged existence of tapes is coming out now? And why exactly did this FBI informant come out right now? This is one of our highest paid, most trusted, most respected, most effective FBI informants in the whole bureau. So if that's the case, then why didn't the FBI ever investigate any of these bribery claims with Joe Biden? This informant's been paid over $200,000 uh, from the FBI. We believe this informant may also work for potentially the CIA. And this informant has been around since the Obama administration. They have used this informant's testimony in other cases that they have been involved in around the world. So this is a very valuable person to the FBI. So there's an FBI-CIA overlap with the informant. And the guy goes all the way back to Obama? Joe Biden's getting squeezed. Between the classified documents, special counsel investigation, and the UK bribe tapes, people a lot bigger than the big guy are putting the squeeze on the president. James Comer says this is a very tightly controlled operation. What my sources in the FBI tell me is that whether it's the FBI, the DOJ, or the IRS, anything pertaining to Joe Biden or his family, they were told to stand down. So the people in the FBI didn't even know about the shell companies the Bidens had or the money laundering the Bidens had until I had my press conference about six weeks ago.
So the Joe Biden operation's been siloed. It's need to know at the FBI and the CIA. The Biden family's been an intelligence op for at least a decade. Remember, Donald Trump wanted to close the border, take on the cartels, start a trade war with China, and settle things down with Russia. This was bad for business for the most powerful people in the world. And Joe Biden was the perfect person to plant in the White House and stop it all. Notice the shift since Biden's election. Open border, stand down with China, proxy war with Russia. The cheap labor, the China trade, the Ukrainian war machine. This isn't some small real estate deal like Whitewater in the 90s. We're talking tens of millions of dollars. How much have you identified of the money he's taken in from foreign we have more bank. We have more bank records coming in, but, I, but we're going to exceed 10 million this okay. week. Right. And I think we'll get up between 20 and 30 million dollars. Whoa, Joe Biden's a money laundering operation for foreign nationals and American intelligence. That's it. He's an empty suit and he's the perfect president for this. His age gives him an excuse to lay low. He's a Democrat, so the press leaves him alone. And he keeps the population distracted with nasty racial accusations and spends trillions of dollars. And the Fed chair just keeps printing it. Joe says nobody Fs with a Biden because it's true. That's why Joe Biden laughs off questions about his corruption. He knows he's untouchable. It's mostly dumb luck. He's stupid and his greedy family has just bungled their way into the FBI's radar. But now the Bidens don't have much freedom to move. They move when they're told to. They do what they're told to. That's why the Hunter investigation's frozen for five years. That's why the special counsel investigation doesn't leak. And that's why the bribe tapes dropped. It's a warning shot to Joe. We own you. It's a warning shot to everybody. We own everybody. You don't think American intelligence has tapes on everybody? You don't think they have your texts, your emails, your phone calls? If you're a player, then there's dirt. You either play or you get played. This has always been about look the other way. Don't look here. Look at that guy. Trump and his emissaries have sought repeatedly to extort the existential fears of Ukrainian leaders for political advantage. What Trump did in Ukraine was to carry out a secret policy for his own personal political benefit in the hope that he wouldn't have to face me. A corrupt scheme with an additional helping of corruption and self-dealing on the side. Classic Trump. Classic Biden. Accuse the other guy of what you're guilty of. And the press runs with it. I gave a eulogy at the Grand Wizard's funeral, but Trump's the real racist. Joe Biden did the same thing with Trump's tax returns. I have not taken a single penny from any country whatsoever, ever, number one. Number two, this is a president. I have released all of my tax returns, 22 years. Go look at them, 22 years of my tax return. You have not released a single solitary year of your tax return. What are you hiding? What's going on here? Why don't release your tax return or stop talking about corruption? Now, when Joe starts asking about Trump's tax returns, that tells me I got to look at Joe's tax returns, and we did. So what's Joe hiding? Because I'm not an accountant, but something caught my eye on his taxes. Joe claims he made $15 million between 2017 and 2019, right after he was VP. He says he made $11 million from his book and Jill's book, and the rest from a dozen or so speaking events. But here's the thing. We have to take Joe Biden's word for it. His tax returns don't actually show 15 million coming in from book deals and speeches. Joe funneled 15 million dollars through a tax loophole. He used an accounting trick and 15 million dollars appeared in a tax shelter. We're just supposed to believe that the big guy says the money's from books and speeches. I mean, the guy's a plagiarist who can barely talk and we're supposed to believe 15 mil is from books and speeches? Shouldn't Joe Biden release his entire tax return from his S corporations, Celtic, Capri, and Jacopa? Because he's been lying about money this whole time. Why should we suddenly take him at his word now? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.